So yes, please put me the aircraft in the endurance configuration. Okay. Endurance. So you remember you have to start power with two thousand RPM and also let's okay. I will to reduce Yeah, by one hundred each time. Exactly. Okay, one hundred and I will trim this aircraft. Yes, it's very, 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 very important when you do uh, when you want to put the aircraft in maximum endurance configuration is to maintain your altitude so yeah, as you stable. can see as you can see at 2000 rpm you can maintain your altitude yeah so now try to reduce like 100 rpm to see if with this power setting you can maintain your altitude One thousand nine hundred. So it's you have to pull the the, um, the yoke because you know when you reduce power, the aircraft want to uh, to descend. So you have to pull your uh, your 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 yoke and you have to trim to help you. So as you can see, yes, it's stable. Are, yes. As you can see, you're at one eight. You can maintain your altitude. Okay. Okay. So now reduce uh, to one zero, one seven. Okay. Look at yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Uh, try to maintain the altitude. Very important. Pull the yoke. Pull the yoke. And after you pull the yoke help you with the trim. So 17 uh, RPM with this power setting you will not maintain your speed and your altitude. As you can see your speed decrease. decrease. So the best uh, the, the power for the maximum endurance is 1800. Mm -hmm. So now now okay. you find what is the, the power for the maximum endurance. What do you mean so uh, for example it's uh, Below 60 uh, speed or <laughs> no? The, when your speed continue to decrease, and as you can see now, with this power setting, you cannot maintain the altitude. As you can see, you you lose altitude. So the power 1,700 feet, uh, 1,700 rpm, it's not the power uh, for the maximum engines because you have the speed decrease and your altitude, you cannot also maintain your altitude. So the power is one, uh, 1,008. Uh, with this power, you can find the maximum endurance. After that, when you uh, when you find your, your power, you have, yes, to get to win the mixture. So yes, the power is a one, okay. Also control your aircraft because now we we turn so maintain the heading heading south. So we need to make sure find your peak. Yeah, here. Yeah. I found. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, as you can see, now you are in uh, the maximum endurance configuration. So, the slow flight. So, what is the slow flight? The slow flight is uh, so it's the range between the speed, uh, the speed of the maximum endurance, and the speed of the stall speed. So, it's a range of speed. Um, if you continue to, uh, to decrease your speed, you see that you need to uh, increase power to maintain your altitude. So when you increase the power, you are now in the slow flight. So you fly at 
are low speeds, mm -hmm. so a range between slow speeds and maximum endurance, and you, uh, the symptom of slow flight is you, you hear the star buzzer, and it's more difficult to move the control. Mm -hmm. So this is the symptom of slow flight. So I have to hear buzzer, yes? Yes. And you have to have speeds between top speeds and maximum endurance. So you, when you, when you want to uh, fight in slow flight, you have to hear stall Bowser, and the control will be more difficult to move. So it's very important to uh, to control the aircraft also with the water. Like if you want to turn. You have to put more water in the direction of the turn because your L1 is less uh, effective. Mm -hmm. Yes, buzz, buzz. now, yes, so stop to pull the yoke, maintain this pitch, so stop to maintain. No, stop to pull the yoke. You have because if you continue to pull the yoke, the aircraft will stall, and this is not what you want. So as you can see, you lose altitude. So you have to increase power to maintain your altitude. Increasing so power. increase the power. Mm -hmm. Increase the power that you think that this power will maintain your altitude. Pay attention to do not stall the aircraft because if you stall the aircraft, it's a fail on your flight test. Yeah. No buzzer. Yes, because you, uh, you you change your pitch, so try to maintain your pitch. So trim, yes, like that. Maintain this pitch. Do not touch everything. Maintain this pitch, and as you can see, now you are in slow flight. Your speed is low, or pay attention at your altitude, your altitude decrease. So add more power. Yes. And you see the control is very really more difficult to move, right? So you have to put Roger to help you. Do you understand what is a uh, slow fight? Yeah, but very difficult. Yes, I know so far it is difficult to maintain your aircraft, but it's an item of flight test. So you have to know how to to, to fight in slow flight. Okay, now try to make right turn to heading 210. Right turn 210 at 10 degree of inclination. Of bank, 10 degree of bank. Okay, 210. Like that. And, and you, you see, yeah, uh, you have, you, the, the, it's difficult to turn. Yes, yeah, really. Because difficult. Right. Yes, because it's your uh, low, uh, uh, low speed, so you have to put right Roger to help you to turn it. Very pay attention at your altitude because yeah, yeah I yeah. see, but it's difficult to you know. Yes, yeah, so add power if if you lose altitude. Okay, so now it's the configuration of slow flight. So this is what this is an item that you have to to do on your flight test. Yeah, it's very yeah. difficult. Uh, It's high RPM right now, it's 2000. Exactly, so as you can see we have all the same tone. We have high power, uh, low speeds, and you hear the storm buzzer. 